This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 327. So an acquaintance of mine, of another raw vegan, who shall be nameless, she will remain nameless, she just posted a reel, and I had to come here to talk about it, because y'all my friend, and y'all my raw vegan friends, and um, my, my, my friends in real life, like my roommate and stuff, they don't care. They don't care about anything I have to say regarding the raw vegan diet. They've heard about it for 12 years and they're over it. So that's why I love to talk to you guys about it because you care. You care a lot. And um, I need to discuss this. So one of the raw vegan people that I know that I've never met in real life, but I have a feeling she's a really beautiful soul. I'm. This is not personal. I'm not attacking her in any way, but I need to get this out because it's the truth. I need people to understand the truth. She just posted a reel that said, here's a video of me about to eat cooked vegan food. And it was like, you know, processed vegan food. It wasn't like, a sweet potato in a salad. You know what I mean? It was like vegan cheese, I guess. And I don't know, vegan pasta or something. Maybe it was a plate that I couldn't really recognize. And that's how you know it's like processed. I couldn't really, I didn't really know what it was exactly. So either way, she said, here's a a photo or video of me about to eat cooked vegan food. And no, I did not feel good afterwards. But sometimes you have to do things like go back to the things you ate to not feel good to know why you're eating healthy now. I'm just keeping it real, guys. Okay, bye. So something like that. And maybe I should listen again. But that's the gist of the real. And I wanted to discuss this because it is not against her again. She seems like a very lovely woman. She seems very smart and uh, she's beautiful and she's very, very kind and nice to me. So I'm not naming her and I'm not trying to start anything with her, but, and I'm not going to tell her this, but here's the issue with that. Okay. So like, there's a reason why she relapsed as you would call it. And there's a reason why I'll never, ever relapse. I've never eaten one bite, not a one bite of vegan processed food in 12 years. I'll never eat anything processed or anything that I don't think belongs in my body. Now, I used to eat a lot of cacao because I thought it was healthy, honestly, Um like there were so many people back in the day, David Wolf, who had a chocolate company, obviously, but like there was lots of people back in the day saying cacao has lots of antioxidants and it's like a superfood and it, that was total lies. So I didn't really know that, that it wasn't healthy, but long story short is, um, you know, she like knew this food was not for her. She knew it. It wasn't health food. So why did she eat it? She's raw vegan. Why would why did she eat it? And then she didn't feel good afterwards. Okay. I, I don't eat anything that doesn't make me feel good the next day or like an hour later. And it's been 12 years. And what's the difference between me and her? And I'm not I'm not better than her. I'm just doing it differently. She's promoted juice cleansing and she's even been on a like a hundred and something. I don't know if it's like 120 or 160 day juice cleanse, but she has done very, very long juice cleanses. And she even is constantly doing challenges of like three day, five day, seven day juice cleanses. And this in here lies the reason why she would even be attracted to vegan cooked processed foods. And maybe the food, maybe it looks like it's a restaurant though. And restaurant food has lots of oil and salt. So I don't really know why she would go from a juice cleanse, or I do know, that's what the podcast is going to be about. Why would somebody go from a juice cleanse to restaurant vegan cooked food with lots of sugar and oil and salt and maybe MSG in there and who knows what kind of other ingredients, right? Like why wouldn't you just make something healthy yourself if you wanted cooked food? A big salad with roasted um potatoes or squash or 
uh, cooked carrots or you know something healthy cooked? Why would you go straight to a vegan restaurant? Well, the reason is because juice cleansing sets you up for failure. Juice cleansing starves your body. And that is my personal experience. So I'm speaking from experience and my personal opinion and from all the thousands of case studies that I've done over the past 12 years because I've been coaching people for a very long time and every single person that water fasts or juice cleanses goes back to eating cooked food when they don't want to. And if you want to eat cooked food, then eat it, my boo. But when you're, tell- when you're making a reel that says, I'm just keeping it real, guys. Um, I ate this cooked food and I didn't feel good at all the next day. And sometimes you need to step backwards and do things you really don't want to do to know how good it feels to eat healthy and stick to eating healthy. But it's like, you're not going to stick to eating healthy. You're going to go on another juice cleanse and you're going to, and you're going to be in a perpetual state of, um, just going back and forth with eating healthy. And then once in a while eating cooked food and not feeling good. And why wouldn't you just, going, going from juice cleansing to cooked food, it's like going from the penthouse to the outhouse. And it's like, why don't you just go in the middle? Why don't we just stick, because it's not sexy and it's not a quick fix and you don't get a fucking, uh, you know, you don't get a lot of attention out of that. Or like, what am I trying to say? You don't get a high off of, although I feel high all the time, but you don't get like a, you don't have like a, um, fixation or like a, um, you can't really sell a raw vegan diet as much as you can sell a cleanse. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. You guys understand what I'm trying to say? It's not so easy to have a, you know, three day raw vegan challenge. Having a three day cleanse, juice cleanse is probably a better sell. I'm just guessing. I've never done either. But it's probably a better sell because people are like, okay, I'm going to lose weight. I just have to juice. Juicing is easier than eating because when you eat, you have all these options. But juicing, you just juice. And it's like it never, ever, ever leads to anything good. I'm sorry. I know so few people that did a juice cleanse and then have stayed raw vegan for years. I, I can think of literally two people, maybe, but I don't live with them. Okay. So I don't really know what they eat. And actually one person eats cooked food. So mm, I'm thinking of the only other person that I could think of is fully raw Christina of all the raw vegans on the internet. Fully raw Christina supposedly has done many juice cleanses and she eats raw vegan supposedly. I mean, listen, I have no idea what she eats. I know she she eats protein powder. That's not raw. But supposedly everything else is raw. I don't know what she eats. I don't live with her. You guys don't know what I eat. You can only just take my word for it. And I'm the other raw vegan on the internet because I was thinking of someone else, but he eats cooked food. So like I'm literally the only raw vegan that I know of that has done many juice cleanses and still is raw. But I stopped doing the juice cleanses a few years ago because I was having severe issues with it, okay? I was getting so, so hungry that I was gaining weight after the juice cleanse was over. And I was really like in a bad place because I could not satisfy my hunger after starving myself for so long. And so that's it. That's it. I just wanted to get that out because I'm really frustrated with this world and with the raw vegans of this world that are showing reels of them eating cooked food. And it's like, well, you're not a very good raw vegan role model, are you now? And, you know, I wouldn't personally have faith in you to be my raw vegan coach because you say you're keeping it real, but like, how can I expect you to coach me on never eating that crap again if you can't even never eat that again. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I I don't want this to sound like I'm attacking her because I'm not. I'm attacking the concept of eating things that you don't want to eat. 
and why this happens. And I believe this happens because we've been starving ourselves from the juice cleansing, from the water fasting. And show me one person. Show me one person in your life that you know that you like either live with or you're very, very close to that does constant juice cleanses or constant water fast or constant cleanses in general and is a healthy raw vegan for over five years, five years or more. Show me because I don't think that person exists. I really, really don't. I know plenty of people that are doing juice cleanses and they're raw, but they occasionally eat processed foods and they fall off all the time. My ex-roommate is one of them. Okay, so yeah, she was always doing a cleanse. She was fruitarian or raw vegan, but every once in a while, she'd have to buy all this vegan junk food when she like was having, you know, emotional issues or like life wasn't going her way. And it's like, first of all, you got to get your mind right, boo. You got to get your motherfucking mind right because the mind is everything. So if you don't have your mind right, you can't get your body and your health right. You can't get your eating under control. You can't make good decisions if you are relying on emotions to control your actions. We got to categorize. Listen, emotions are real. Feelings are real and they're very hard, but they pass and you don't have to be scared of them. Okay. And a lot of people are scared of their emotions. And so they're doing all these things to distract themselves, eating junk food, going on juice cleanses, um, you know, staying really, really busy, being on social media all the time, listening to YouTube videos all the time, listening to podcasts all the time. Don't listen to anything else after this. I want you to shut off everything for a few minutes and just sit and breathe. That's what I want you to do. That's what I'm going to do as well. I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening to my rant. I'm sorry, but I had to get it out because it's very frustrating to me. If you ever see me... (laughs) I'm sorry, but if you, I I wish I, I've been begging my roommate to interview me because she lives with me so she can tell you what I eat. And she's known me for 15 years. So before I was raw, before I was vegan, before I was vegetarian. And so I really want her to interview me, but she's just, I don't know why she won't, but maybe, maybe soon, maybe I'll make her do that for my birthday. Um, Because if you ever see me posting a story or a YouTube video about keeping it real, and eating processed foods or anything that's going to make me feel sick the next day, I want you to unsubscribe. I want, why would you, I, I don't want you to believe in me anymore or listen to me anymore because that's not, that's not healthy. And that's not what this lifestyle is about. The lifestyle is not about going from the outhouse to the penthouse and then back to the outhouse and then trying to get back to the penthouse going up and down and not having control of your hunger and your cravings. And it's like, why would you be craving that food? Because you're starving because you've starved yourself. That's the only reason. Stop starving yourself, guys. Eat as much as you want, fruit and veggies, nuts and seeds. Eat lots of fruit, focus on the fruit, but have some veggies too, have some nuts and seeds if you want and don't limit yourself and don't do one meal a day and don't do a a juice cleanse because you're literally setting yourself up to lose a lot of weight and then gain it all back and then be so hungry that you'll even go back to processed foods. I don't know. I just don't see how it's possible that a long-term raw vegan can crave cooked food or vegan processed foods. I don't see it. I don't understand. Because if you are raw for a long time, then you don't even see that as food. So like the whole thing is just a farce to me. And it's like, it just shows me that you can't believe everything on the internet. And I don't know. And then I just stop believing in humans because they all lie and I don't know who to trust. And, you know, there are some raw vegans out there that I do trust. Okay. I just realized like, like a Don Bennett, Anne Osborne, Fred Bishi, um, who else? Like long-term, I just started a new playlist on my YouTube, long-term raw vegans. So 10 years or more. Okay. These are the people I believe in. These are the people that I trust and follow and I take advice from. Oh, Doug Graham, of course. Like these are people that you'll never see eating cooked food because they've been raw for so long and 
why would they eat cooked food? If like, if you find out the truth about food and then you've been sticking to it for so long, you don't ever, ever even consider that food. It's like, oh, hey guys, I'm going to eat some paper today. And I felt sick afterwards, but I gotta, you got to keep it real sometimes. And I'm just showing you guys the honest truth. And I didn't feel good. So now I know that I'm going to go back to the truth that I found that I like ignored for 10 minutes to eat this meal to, I don't know why, fit in or like to have something exciting in my life or I don't know. I have no idea why somebody would do that. But listen, if you don't want to be raw, you don't have to be raw. But if you want to be a raw vegan, don't do what these raw vegans are doing that are falling off and God forbid going back to animal products. Here's what you want to do, okay? You want to eat an abundance of fresh, ripe, juicy, delicious fruit. Have a big salad at night. Have an amazing dressing. Have some raw vegan dessert, okay? Have lots and lots of food. And here's the thing. Here's a secret, okay? Eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. Now, that's easier said than done. So if you need help stopping when you're full, then I can help you. Do me a favor. Send me an email with the words, I am ready. You have literally three more days to do this. We start on April 1st. And I will show you exactly how to be a healthy raw vegan for life, for life. No cleansing, no fasting, no, no, no equipment required, no supplements required, no bullshit, no, no fasting challenges, no juice cleansing, no juice feasting, no nonsense, no powders, no tinctures needed. Okay. And yeah, it's going to take some time for you to lose all the weight you want to lose. Yes, but it'll be gone for life. If you, if you do exactly what I say, the weight will be gone forever and you'll never want to go back and you'll never even consider going back because you don't want to. It's like if you eat cooked food, it's because you really want to. And why do you want to eat cooked food? I can't, I can't relate. I can't relate. I used to eat a lot of cooked food um, before I went raw, mostly cooked and that's when I thought it was food. But then when I learned the truth, it was like, how do I go back on the truth? How do I turn my back on something that saved my life? I see the raw food diet as a sacred, as a sacred lifestyle that I can never turn my back on because it's done so much for me. It's completely changed my entire reality. It's helped me lose weight and clear my skin, lift my depression. It's helped me manifest the life of my dreams, the job of my dreams, the house of my dreams, the location of my dreams, um, everything, the health, the energy I always wanted, the hair, the skin. I don't, I don't know how, oh, the sleep. Guys, you don't even know how fucked up my sleep was for so long. I had very bad insomnia and I even went nine days without sleeping once. And I went to the ER because I was so scared. I could not sleep. And now I sleep. I can fall asleep within like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And I'm not saying my sleep is like um, perfect every night. You know, if I stay on my phone until 2, 3 a.m., yeah, I have some trouble falling asleep. But I, I've slept every single night, every single night for years. And I couldn't say that before. And so I know the raw vegan diet is a big part of healing my sleep issues. Okay. And um, yeah, I just, I just used to have the worst sleep. And, you know, there's been a lot of other things that have helped tapping, exercising, shutting my phone off at nine o'clock. If I do that, I get such good sleep. You know, taking a shower or a bath before bed, that really helps too. Okay, this has gone in many, many directions. I'm so sorry, Zen Rosie. I love you, boo. I love you so much for listening. And I am going to do a world tour and I'm going to make Australia the first stop. Okay, so thank you very much for listening, everyone, all over the world. I see I have listeners in like Poland and Thailand and Canada and Australia and New Zealand and just all over the world, which is just mind blowing to me. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns about this episode or anything at all regarding eating fruit and being cute, 
send me an email, jd at misfitvegan.com. And if you're interested in my course, it starts in three days, my boo. You'll never be the same. Trust me, the next six weeks, if you spend it with me, you'll never, ever be the same. So I highly recommend you check it out if you need a change in your life. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Remember, you got to eat fruit. Enough fruit if you want to stay cute. I'll see you soon, boo. Bye.